Kimberly here with Knit for Brains and thank you so much again for watching my channel, for subscribing, for commenting. Love the comments. Please keep them coming. I love to read them. I try to respond to all of them. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about the tools of the trade because as my husband always says, right tools for the right job. If you have the right tools, it's an easy job. And of course the converse is always true. So I wanted to show you some of the the hooks that I have and that I've tried and what I have found to be my favorite. Yes, this is a chopstick. I think that it's in there because I was using it to poke yarn into a space like if I was stuffing something. I don't think it's because I was having sushi. Anyways, that's there. Uh, I always have a ballpoint pen in my uh, in my little jar here or somewhere close by just so if I'm writing a chart or if I have to write notes or something like that I've got that nice in hand of course really nice uh, sewing scissors these I got on hobby.com and these were really cute I think they're this little unicorn I think they were about nine dollars very sturdy very very sharp I have some little knitting needles here and then I have some crochet hooks now I was fortunate enough I'm going to say to start my crocheting career using what I think is the right hooks. I never started out, this is one of those Boyd's, I never started out using this without the uh, the grip handles uh, because a lot of people have complained that they have wrist issues and different things like that. So I always started using a good grip handle and I'm really happy about that. Some of these I got on Amazon and they weren't very much at all. Some of these are clover hooks. Uh, and when you look at the quality, it's like, okay, why is this hook 12 or $13 as opposed to this one, which is four or $5? What I'm finding is the softness of the grip. So sometimes it's, it's like a really hard plastic and other times it has a little tiny bit of softness and, and groove to it, which I enjoy. Uh, also you're looking at, I think this is important, the writing on the, uh, handle, because obviously with a lot of use, this is going to start to rub off. As you can see on some of these, this is one of the cheaper ones because it was just sort of stamped in there and you almost have to turn it to light to really see what your uh, size needle is. So that I think you find with your less expensive, your lower end hooks. This is a tulip hook. Uh, and I think this is the, I actually ordered a second pair, which I'm going to show you here in a second. This I like because this is not going anywhere. This isn't going to rub off, which is really, really important. Also, the handles are nice and gray. So typically you're going to be able to see the contrast between this and whatever you're crocheting. And also the hook color is important. I can't tell you how many times I have been crocheting with like a black yarn or something and you really have a hard time being able to see the stitches with a colored hook like this you don't have that problem. So as they say, you get what you pay for. These are on the higher side, not the most expensive. These are on the higher side, but definitely, definitely worth it. These are the tulip hooks. So uh, I had a set that I ordered and I loved it so much. I went ahead and decided to get another set, partially because I think they were on offer and the other reason, my mother's dog got a hold of one of them, and she's a puppy, and she chewed the bejesus out of it, but she didn't chew it off. She just left little tooth marks. So again, they're pretty industrial. Uh, also, I do a lot of traveling, so it made sense to me to buy a second set that I could have with me in my different kits, because how many times have you started a project, moved on to something else, and realized you don't have the hook size you need because it's stuck in another project? Now, there are three different levels that I have found of the tulip hooks on Amazon. This here is called the uh, Itmo, Itmo hook set. And it comes in a nice piece of nice plastic like this. This set here is $56.99 for the entire set. And you get in here, so it's Itmo you get the crochet hook with a cushion grip set in the royal silver. So that's the color of the, um, the casing and the neat of the hooks. Uh, the set contains, set contains a 0 0.3, uh, a 0 0.4, a 5, a 6, 
a seven, an eight, a nine, and a ten. So a, a D, E, F, G, H, I, and J size hooks. Also two tapestry needles, a ruler, and a case. So it has a smooth hook tip, a cushion grip, and easy to grip shape. So that came with this. It comes in a really, really nice carrying pouch, just like this. So if I'm going somewhere, I don't have to worry about bringing everything that I need. All I know is I just have to grab this set. And I have a little yarn to tie it around. These scissors, now, these, the my other ones I showed you, these guys here are long, are probably too long to put inside this. I have carried this in the kit before in the other kit that I have. However, they come with this really nice small set of scissors and oh man, are these things sharp. As a matter of fact, they come in their own protective case that fit right into this case here. So this is what you're getting, okay? And as I said before, you've got your D, E, F, G, number seven hook, and then you go into your H, I, J hook. So pretty much anything you're gonna need to do you're gonna have the hook for it, unless you're gonna do something like a lace uh, or a Tunisian or something like that. But this is a really good starter kit. And at $56.99, I think it's a really, really excellent deal. If you were to buy each one of these individually, you're looking at a lot more money than that. And again, you also get the scissors and then you have this little zipper case over here where you have a, uh, a tape measure, standard size, like a hard, right? Um, and then also some darning needles here. So pretty much everything you need comes in this little kit. It rolls up really nice and easy. You just kind of fold it over like this. And then it's got this um, little clasp zipper. So it just closes up like this. I have found this to be my favorite set of needles at $56.99. Now, I will tell you that there is another tulip set called the Itamo Crochet Hook Set and it's in a red color. So that hook comes with eight hooks, plus a measuring tape and the darning needles, and it comes in a little kit, as you can see here. I Before I decided to buy the kit that I wanted, you can order these individually, and I thought, I'm gonna go ahead and do that to see how they feel. So I ordered one of the Tulip, size eight, H, and then I also got this um, four and a half size in the red. And this might've been like 10 or $11. So not a bad investment. The price of the set, if you're gonna get this whole thing here, is $81.91 as compared to this one, which was $56.99. Now comparing the reviews, the other one got many more reviews. This one, this set here, got 1,265 positive reviews on Amazon. And the one that this set, this came in here, had 165 positive reviews. So comparing the two, the only difference I can find, it feels about the same. This might feel a little bit softer and grippier. Um, again, now this, um, the print of the tulip and the needle size is a little bit smaller, um, but it is a similar type of application. So I don't think it's gonna rub off on either one of these. Uh, the other thing I've been told is it's nice to have this red hook. So it's just easy to see the, the yarn, um, the hook through the yarn. But for the difference in price, I'm really fine with this one here that I got. This is the silver kit. Okay, so these are the two. The other one that I did not buy, but I did buy an uh, intermediate set, is or I tried an individual needle, is the Tulip in the Rose. Okay, and this is Tulip Itamo Rose, and they have it in two different sets. So they have one in a zippered case that looks like this. That is $109, and you get 10, you get 10 hooks in that set, plus you get the scissors and the measuring tape in the zippered case. That's $109, and that has 173 reviews. It looks like it's about a four and a half star. The last kit is a Tulo, Tulip Itamo Rosé Crochet Hook set, and that one has all the same things, and it has, I think it might have 12 hooks, and that's $108, and that had 329 reviews. So overall, the Tulip brand is a really, really good brand of needles to get. I believe they're made in Japan. They're really 
um, durable. They'll hang in with you for a really long time. You're not going to get the paint or the labeling rubbed off as you have with these guys. Now they still feel good and they still feel really sturdy, but it's really hard to see what the hook size is. So if you're going to go out and spend some money, I would recommend getting the tulip. Any of the kits are fine. It's really just going to depend on your budget and what you want to spend. For me, this silver kit does the job. For $50, this silver kit does the job. If you want to try some of the individual ones, uh, I think I spent, like I said, $10 or $11 on this one, and I think this tulip was about $7 or $8. And these are all puppy approved because as I'm feeling them, they have all been chewed on by my mother's dog, unfortunately. Puppies. Hmm? Anyways, um, but they still held up pretty well, and you can really, you can still read what's on there. So pretty durable. Uh, and what's also nice too, I have to mention, is sometimes you have to look at the size of the hook and how much room is in here because that's going to determine how easy it is for you to pick up yarn and some of the stitches that you do. This here, this Tulip Itabo, the one I have, has a pretty, what I would call a sharp uh, angle down or a hook, so it's pretty easy to grab that yarn. This one is just one of the cheap ones I bought on Amazon, not quite as big. The head is a little bit smaller on this, so it's going to be um, a little bit harder to get into some of those stitches. It's negligible. It's a small difference, but if you're doing some really small work, like maybe some amigurumi, this could be an issue. This one here, the other tulip, has a very sharp slanted head um, with a very prominent underhook part here. So again, it's going to be easy for you to pick up those stitches. And with the grip, you're not going to get that really bad muscle ache or the tendonitis um, so it's a feeling if you're doing a lot of it, you know, hour after hour after hour, like we all do because we love crochet, right? Why are we here anyways? So that's my review on the, uh, Tulip Itamo, and this is the silver, silver crochet hook set. So it's the TP11666. I will include the link down below for this one and the others if you want, but I found these on Amazon. You can find them at any other knitting store. I'm certain um, but Amazon seems to have the best choice and very, very good reviews. So you can also find some hook kits that are $17, $18, but again, you get what you pay for. And you really don't want to have, in my opinion, my humble opinion, you don't, you want to be able to see what size hook you're using. You don't want the ones that just have the stamped in it. Cause like this one here is actually, it's just stamped and there was never any paint there. So it's really hard to see this. Uh, and the other thing is too, is if they're rubbing off. So that's my review. I'm going to give this a big fat thumbs up. This is my second set of these guys, only because I like them so much. I wanted to have the flexibility of moving around with them. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Please comment below. Let me know your favorite hook. If you have used the tulip hooks and you love them, or maybe you're a Boyd fan, or maybe you're a Clover fan, please comment below and let's start that dialogue. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.